In the Egyptian desert in a place called Koremat, men are busy at work preparing to capture sun rays and turn them into energy. The solar project is clean and carbon-free, and Egypt has the resources needed to produce lots of it. We have many capabilities. We have a huge desert. We have human resources. We have clouds only about nine or ten days a year. And our sun projection is very high because we are in the sun belt. Egypt, the Arab world's most populated country, has some of the highest greenhouse gas emissions. The country is now trying to reverse that by diversifying and cleaning its electric power production. The solar project at Koremat is one of several renewable energy projects now underway in the country. Egypt tapped World Bank GEF funds to finance the solar portion of Koremat, which is currently being commissioned and will be in full operation by the end of 2011. It's already just to collect the sun and to concentrate the sun to heat a fluid. And this fluid from this heat, you use some heat exchanger people. And from this heat exchanger, you take the heat and start boiling the water to produce power. Workers at Koremat are busy assembling the solar panel structures made from imported highly resistant thick glass panes and fixing them to the locally manufactured bases and frames made of steel. The solar panel structures are set in rows that take up 65,000 square meters of desert space, only a beginning. Egypt's top energy officials say the country is already planning a solar energy scale-up as part of a regional plan extending across North Africa.